So let's get started with your examination. First up is an assessment of the face and various things, cranial nerve 7. So keep your head steady. I'm just going to observe. Contours, looking for any symmetry or asymmetry there. Okay, look up to the ceiling and raise the eyebrows at the same time. Show me your teeth. Now blow out the cheeks like this. To be a blowfish, while I gently just palpate. Now smile. Okay, I want you to open your eyes. I'm just going to gently tap the forehead. wide open. Good, we were just um, ensuring there was no blinking there, which was good. Okay, I want you to close your eyes. I'm going to try and gently force your eyes open with my fingers. And one smile, please. Excellent. All right, let's use the applicator again. Close your eyes. Tell me when you feel the sensation. Okay, open your eyes and relax. So that concludes the assessment of cranial nerve number seven. Okay, I want you to look up to the ceiling there. Now I'm going to just gently use a soft bit of material to touch the eye. It's not going to hurt, just look up. And for the other side, please. Good. Right, let's have a little look at your color vision. Increase the brightness there. Okay, just looking at this paddle, what colour do you see there? And on this one. And there, please. And the colour there. And that colour there, please. Okay, let's be a little bit more specific now. We'll use the Ishihara colour vision test. Now just cover your left eye, just like this. This is a monocular test. Okay, I'll show you some plates with the numbers on. Just say what number you think you see.
Excellent, now number there. Okay, swap over. Here we go. And for the next one. Good, now number there. Just one final one. This concludes the colour vision assessment. good. If you have normal colour vision, go into those two tests in each eye. Okay, so let's have a look at the list. So we've done uh, uh, facial tests, corneal sensations, colour vision, Let's have a little look at eye movements and ocular motility. Now I'm going to select one of those coloured paddles for this test. Okay, so this is the target. I would like you to follow the target with your eyes only and if you see double of this target, if you see two, in any particular direction I need you to say, or I need to know if your eyes feel uncomfortable as well, if there's any ocular discomfort. That's the way, head steady. Let me change the target colour and we'll repeat that test. So we have better uh, results. Okay, here is the new target for you to follow please. It's looking smooth, doesn't appear to be any restrictions with eye movements. There are actually six extra ocular muscles that control eye movement, and that is checking um, three nerves that innervate six muscles. Right, let's find another coloured paddle. In fact, let's reverse the white. Okay, just a little bit of eye convergence. Follow this target towards the nose. Report any double vision. Okay, let's repeat with a different target. Right. There's a star here with a letter in the centre. Just follow the letter, again reporting any discomfort or diplopia. And 
Now to repeat, don't worry about any blur. Keep following. Is there any double vision? Single vision. That's good, so good. Full range of eye movements there, including convergence. Ocular motility. Convergence, resident five. Okay, we'll come back to some more ocular tests a little bit later. First, we're going to do a taste test. I'm going to pop one drop of these solutions onto the tip of the tongue. I would like you to describe the taste, any sensations, to the best of your ability. Just using the pipette here, nice clean pipette. Okay, close your eyes, open your mouth. Give you a moment to identify what do you think that is. You can use any adjectives to tell me what you think. Okay, let's move on. Close your eyes, open the mouth, tongue out. Okay, what's your thoughts there? Right. Let's move on to the final taste. Okay, tongue out, please. I'll give you a moment there. Okay, so that was three samples. Number one. details of number two and what did you think about the third sample all right good I'll reveal the results later okay we're on to the seventh area now in terms of the test very simple smell test. Again, you can use any words, adjectives, describe what you think you are detecting. And I'll record the results. Okay, for the first sample, they're all pretty neutral in colour, so you can keep your eyes open if you wish. Just inhale through the nose. I'll do that again for you. Okay, what do you feel you're picking up there? Okay, that's the second sample. Four in total. Breathe in, 
breathe out and inhale through the nose there and again your thoughts on that one okay two more to go Fourth and final one. You're going to like this one. Inhale through the nose for the final time. Your opinions there, please. Okay, let's take some notes. Sample one. Two. And three, we had lemon. Four. You felt that was Nescafe Gold Blend. Okay, so that completes the smell test. Now we're going to switch our attention back to the eyes. This is my favourite part. It's checking your eyes. I'm going to do a vision test. Cover the left eye again with the palm of the hand. Okay. Have a little read down on the chart as far as you can, please. if possible. Okay, if we reverse, near vision, say the letters please, far down as you can, three letters per row. Now cover the other eye. Let's read what you can please. it from the glare there. There we go. And very quickly for the near vision. Okay. Very good. Let's record those results for vision. So we had the reduced Snellen chart and the near vision. Right, let's have a little look at your pupils. First up, I'm going to measure the size of the pupils. Just look straight, please. Bring this just down in front of the eye. It's not going to touch. Okay, so in these room conditions, we have a pupil size. Seven millimeters per eye. Well, we have no evidence of an isochoria there. Okay, I need to try a little light, so a slight brightness warning. Okay, 
looking straight ahead towards the ocular image behind me. So we have a di direct and indirect responses there. Now just for the swinging flashlight test. I want to ensure that there's no relative afferent pupillary defect. Relative afferent pupillary defect. Wonderful. And to finish the assessment, Obviously, I need to look inside the eyes at cranial nerve number two, the head of the optic nerve, where all the fibres travel to the brain to allow you to see. So let's locate the ophthalmoscope. I have to come a little bit closer. So we're looking for a pink, flat, healthy optic nerve. We don't see any hemorrhaging, swelling, pallor, atrophy, for example. Okay, so you may hear some clicking sounds from the ophthalmoscope. That just changes the wheel there to give me the best focus possible. Okay. Are we set up? We are. Okay, just try and look straight, please, at one particular point. Now I'm assessing the optic nerve in the right eye. So we are pink and defined. The vessels look fine at the crossing, they're clear. looking for any evidence of glaucoma using the optic nerve but your optician will have to do your pressures and visual fields themselves I'm not going to be covering those today okay looking into the light I look right and left and down looking fine. shoulder into the distance. I may get your optometrist to have a look at this left optic nerve. There's some obvious copying disparity here. And possibly some neural retinal rim thinning on the superior rim. That's going to be look well it's going to be need looking at that's going to need looking at to ensure we relate any glaucoma or to determine if there's any present. Okay, sorry, I was just talking out loud there. It's a little bit of an unusual finding at the left optic nerve, so you need to make an appointment with your optometrist and I'll write them a referral. Okay, so I stand corrected, that wasn't the final test. I haven't checked your hearing. Let's have a look what we have in this case here. Okay. Yes, 
we have some tuning forks. Okay. I'm going to ring the tuning fork. I'm going to place it on the bone behind the ear and then in front of the ear. Okay. There may be a few questions to answer. Tell me when you stop hearing the ringing. You hear it now? Good. It's just checking the bone conductivity and the air conductivity. So when you stop hearing it, do you hear the sound there? That's fine. I'm going to change to a different tuning fork. That was with. 123 hertz. I'm going to go higher for the next test. Much higher. 2048 hertz. I'll ring the fork, place it on the forehead. Let me know whether you hear the sound in the right or in the left or evenly. Good, and again, a little bit louder, about equal, good. So that was checking cranial nerve number eight. Okay, so let's make some final notes. Every test bar me just looking at your left optic nerve is fine. Now I'm going to write a referral for your optometrist to check the left eye for glaucoma. Have another look at the back of the eye but probably using the Volk lens, using the slit lamp as well in conjunction. I'll need to check your ocular pressure through contact tonometry. They'll also need to defer the slit lamp evaluation looking at the Van Herrick angle looking for any pseudo exfoliation or pigment dispersion and then they'll have to do a full visual field test looking for any loss of peripheral vision so the report is here with all the findings for you to take that referral to your optometrist shall be emailed today so give them a call later on and book in to see them